I'm Cole again, and uh, before we start going through each of the individual pieces, I just want to point out something that we're doing that's a little bit new this year. Um, if you walk around, you'll see that all of the signs have these little QR codes on them. Uh, that's sort of a technique that we're using to try and bring people that might not be here at the conference uh, into the experience at eTech. So you can scan those QR codes, uh, you'll get some more information about the work, uh, international podcasts, and also you can tweet. Um, and uh, obviously your tweets will go out to the world so they can kind of see what's going on. You can read what other, other people are saying about, um, about the pieces. And then also your tweets show up on this sign. It's just kind of fun. Um, so that's something that we're doing to kind of engage the larger community uh, about around eTech. So I'll talk about some of the trends I think that, that we saw this year. I mean every year eTech uh, tends to have a pretty strong theme about trying to blend the physical and virtual worlds. And this year is certainly no exception. Um, one hot area was telepresence this year. Uh, telepresence is really projecting your sort of virtual persona into the physical world. Uh, and one example of that is Telenoid, which is basically an experiment in how to uh, make that physical, uh, physical representation um, more sort of emotional uh, so that you can connect with the, uh, the teleoperator uh, in a more natural way. Um, another example of telepresence that we have, if you, uh, we'll, we'll be heading back around this way. They're, they're not necessarily grouped by, by area, so, so I'll be sort of pointing things out occasionally. But uh, down at the end here, which we'll, we'll come around to, uh, there's something called face to avatar, which is basically a large blimp uh, where the teleoperator's face will be projected onto. And that sort of gives the, the teleoperator more flexibility in terms of where they can travel or move their, their, uh, their you know, physical avatar. So I'm going to walk around this way now uh, into another section, if you'll just follow me. So we had quite a few works that were exploring themes of, uh, of physical interfaces. And so I'll point out a couple examples here. Um, we've got Recompose here, which is basically giving you a gestural uh, interface on top of a physical display. Uh, it's sort of a novel way of interacting with a physical display. Um, we have a piece here called Poco Poco, which is basically, it's both experimenting with applications for physical displays and also with how you would interact physically. Uh, and here you can actually grab the pixel uh, and sort of rotate it or interact with it. So, so that's really sort of a novel approach. Um, one of my favorites this year is called Fua Fua, which is behind me here. You can't see him, but we'll walk around in a second. Uh, and, and it's basically taking a, a soft pillow or a stuffed animal and using that as a touch interface. So you can imagine all sorts of interesting casual applications where you might be watching TV and you have something like a pillow or, that you can sort of use uh, to control uh, either the TV set or you know, interact with your friends. Uh, and another really cool uh, demonstration here is, is basically a touch interface on the back of the hand. Uh, and it's sort of playing with this concept of making the body uh, a touch interface. Um, so that's a pretty exciting one. Um, I'm going to head around this way now. Uh, so if you'll follow me again. All right. So like every year, we always have some novel displays. And there's, a, there's three of them here with an eye shot. Um, we've got uh, a brand new kind of, um, of stereo display. Uh, that's basically using a mylar beam splitter to, to create uh, a floating uh, three-dimensional image. Um, these dis this dis was uh, actually, a, um, they showed last year with the Quint Pixel display, which actually uses RGB, yellow, and magenta uh, color channels. And this year they've come back with a sensor, a, a video camera, that can both capture and display in those five color channels. And behind me, over here, um, they've, they've been having a little bit of, of technical trouble, uh, but it's a three another three-dimensional display. This one actually uses plasma uh, in order to, to create uh, an image in midair. So it's, it's basically causing um, small explosions in midair, and that's what's generating the pixels. Uh, they were actually here in 2006 with a massive uh, but low resolution version, and they've scaled it down and made it much higher resolution. So that's pretty exciting. Did you 
want to touch on the uh, mommy tummy? Yeah, of course. Uh, Mommy Tommy is one of the crazier ones that we have this year. Uh, it's again an example of, of sort of blending. Uh, it, it's sort of like a new uh, physical interface with a very specific application, which is to, to sort of uh, give you a sense of what it might be like to be pregnant. Um, and, you know, I don't know that there's much more I can say about that. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things that you really have to, to try out. Uh, in order to understand it, um, but it's definitely a lot of fun. And speaking of fun, uh, we have you know a number of examples of technologies that really are about entertainment or, or a little bit more lighthearted. Um, over here on the left, there's uh, a, a whole game that's based on uh, basically taking the physical top and trying to create a virtual uh, experience based on that. Um, we have something called Cyclone Display, which is sort of a fun uh, visual uh, experiment that's, that's taking the, the uh, RGB channels from a projector and using spinning uh, discs with black and white patterns on them to separate out those different colors. Uh, and we have something called the Virtual Crepe Factory. If you walk with me, I'll show you that real quick, which is another fun, another fun example. So this is the uh, virtual crepe factory that I just mentioned, which is another kind of fun uh, example. Actually, the technology here is that they're, that they're using uh, a haptic uh, feedback system and, and blending that with a fluid with basically like a, a fluid uh, physics model. So the application is essentially this cooking application where you can uh, pour batter and create crepes and, and flip the crepes. So it's kind of a fun application of some interesting science. <laughs>